Hey everybody, this is Dream, and today we have a nice little uh, nine-game NBA slate for you. We have no college basketball today, so do keep that in mind, but uh, we will get this NBA slate figured out. Uh, before I get started, can you guys smash that like and subscribe button? It really does help the channel a lot. So we have a nine-game slate here. We have a pretty good injury report uh, as well. Uh, our fastest pace game on the slate is Sacramento-Portland, and our slowest game is Minnesota-Oklahoma City, so do keep that in mind. Uh, but we do have some other slower games, and then we have several other games that are faster. Uh, all these games are relatively tight, exception of the Clippers-Hornets game, which is the Clippers have a 12-point sp open uh, spread. Uh, but with that said, I'm going to get an injury report now. For the Nets, Simmons and Walker are out. For the Magic, Suggs is questionable, Ingles is questionable, and Fultz is out. Uh, for the Grizzlies, Smart is questionable, and Rose and Kennard are out. Uh, for the Hawks, Young is questionable and Hunter is out. For the Bulls, Levine and Craig are out. And Vucevic is questionable. For the Pacers, Brown is out. For the Rockets, Eason is questionable. For the Jazz, George is questionable and THT is questionable. For the Spurs, Wemby is questionable. For the Timberwolves, Towns is questionable. For the Thunder, Giddy and Jalen Williams are questionable. For the Kings, Monk is questionable. For the Trailblazers, Aiton and Sharp are questionable and Williams is out. And for the Hornets, Miller is questionable, Williams is doubtful, and Ball is out. And for the Clippers, Kawhi Leonard is questionable, and Plumlee is out. Uh, so we do have some good plays today. My core play is Sabonis. He's played very well lately. I like his upside in this matchup against Portland. I think he's going to have a big game here and score over 50 fantasy points, uh, which is what he needs to do to pay off here. Uh, he's definitely a good place to start on the slate. Uh, another option uh, who was very close to being a core play is, to be honest, there's not a ton of guys that are great core plays today but kobe white looks really solid today he's got a really high ceiling and he's just underpriced for what he's been doing lately obviously his prices come up but with levine out he's been one of their top scorers for the bulls and he has a lot of potential in this one uh and so i like especially with him playing 40 plus you know mostly around 40 minutes a game uh he gets a lot of potential in this one as in a fast-paced matchup uh demar Derozan is kind of almost a core play as well uh, for the Bulls, uh, he's really up to game since uh, Levine has been out, and he's only, you know, he's been a lot closer to 40 fantasy points and over it a lot more in that stretch. But early in the season, he wasn't hitting 40, but very every few games, uh, I look for him to have a big game here in a in a pace up matchup with some rest for him. Alperin Sengun uh, is also in play today for Houston. Now he definitely has a little bit of risk today, as so his price is higher than I'd like it to be, but. Uh, he's played well throughout the season, and he has some good upside matchup here. Uh, I like his potential in this one against uh, the Pacers, who should be pushing the ball and shoot a lot of open, a lot of jump shots would give him more rebound potential. Uh, and then we'll look at Banchero for Orlando. Now he does have a lower floor than I typically like. However, he's played very well lately, and he has a high ceiling. His price is still pretty decent. Uh, Any time, as long as he's around eight thousand dollars, he's usually in, an interesting play when they get a good matchup and this is one of the best matchups you can have against the wizards uh he should be able to dominate here uh franz wagner is also a guy i really considered making a core play but he definitely uh, carries some risk as he does have a lower floor too but he's played very well lately he has some nice potential here and especially the plus matchup he should have some uh nice upside he's been playing pretty good amount of minutes and that definitely gives him some upside in this matchup um, then we'll look at uh, Shea Alexander for this Thunder. Now, they do have a little bit of a tougher matchup, and this is a little bit of a pace-down game for them, but they're going to keep the pace up anyway. And I look for him to have a monster game regardless. And so while he is risky, uh, he's going to be somewhat annoying to use due to the fact that uh, uh, there's not a ton of value, at least at this point, on the slate. But hopefully some will open up as we get closer to the lock. Uh, looking at Simmons for... Portland, he's also in play today. He definitely carries a little bit of risk, but until his price goes up, he's going to be somebody that you have to consider as he has a very high floor, very similar to DeRozan's floor in his aspect of being around 35 to 40 fantasy points at minimum, and then it's just a matter of if he can get over 40, uh, which is what his price is currently at. So I like him a lot here, and he's a definitely interesting play. Some other guys to pay attention to that are under 6K. Uh, Jeremy Sochan for the Spurs. If Wimby is ruled out, he would definitely get some potential. There would be a couple other guys for the Spurs that would be interesting too. Patrick Williams and Andre Drummond for the Bulls also have some utility today if Vucevic was to be ruled out. So do you want to make a uh, look for that? And then another guy I do like today is Sadiq Bey for Atlanta. Yeah, he's played very well throughout the season, and he's really solidified his minutes pretty well. And he's uh, having pretty good fantasy points. He does have occasional low floor games. This is a good matchup for him against Chicago. 
Uh, and so I do like his upside in this one. So with that said, guys, thank you for liking, comment, and subscribing. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave them below. And have a nice day, guys.